What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against this clan, Brink of Death, a level 10 clan. Uh, these guys were actually really good. Um, well, <laughs> they were good. We'll just say that. 93-92 uh, victory. Very, very slim victory for Invicta. Plus, uh, Brink of Death had a couple of attacks missed that could have actually won the war for them. Um, so, tough luck for them. They did overall a really good job. Uh, you can see they ended up getting three on ride around there, three on mark. Three on ice, three on poly. Uh, so good for them. Kind of going down. They missed quite a few of the nines. Four, five, six, six nines there. And two of those attacks, right? That's, uh, that could easily have been the difference in the war. But um, we also had a, an attack missed as well. Um, Mark had to take a bit of a break from the game. Had some real life stuff come up. So uh, no fault to you, Mark. Uh, we will miss you. Hopefully we'll be back soon. Or then later. Uh, let's check over and sh see what Invicta did. Um, missed that number six there. The other thing these guys did, they gemmed quite a bit. Uh, I don't know exactly. I'm pretty sure this guy gemmed to 11. Um, I could be wrong, so don't get me, don't get all panties in a bunch if I'm not 100% accurate on this, but guaranteed, I know almost 100% positive that. This 24 and 25, both gems, Town Hall 10 and Infernos. Um, and I'm pretty sure that other guy gemmed Town Hall 11, this number six. Anyhow, is what it is. Invicta came out victorious. So fantastic job, guys. Stayed uh, stayed in this right to the end uh, and came away with the victory. So good freaking job, everybody. I got uh, a lot of replays I want to show on here. Um you know, I want to show these guys who uh, gem their infernos why you don't really need to do that because we're gonna three star you anyways. Uh, plus, I got a couple other ones I want to fit in here, so let's just jump right on in. Uh, first, I want to check out DWS, my man, doing this on his iPad. Must give him some special Apple powers. Something I don't know about, uh, but you know how I am for a sucker for. Uh, so, actually, the reason I'm showing this attack is for two reasons. One, because it's a simple, shattered Lalo. And you know how I love these old-school, original-style uh, attacks. Uh, on top of it, you guys also know how I'm a fan of showing raids that didn't go exactly how you planned, but you still stuck through, made some adjustments on the fly, and came away with the three-star. That's what DWS does here. So DW's goal here, get the CC, get the Queen, get Air Defense 1 and Air Defense 2. Now, bit of an issue. This Queen is a little bit on the high side. This Dragon and, and stuff kind of yank her up a little bit. Once she takes out this Cannon, you'd think she would look down there but no locks onto the storage and i think he recognizes this right away that that air defense is not going to go down i guarantee you he had planned for this air defense to go down but it doesn't uh so here goes those two lava hounds just gonna drop a few balloons doesn't go crazy doesn't spam 10 balloons on this side to make sure it goes down just three balloons takes out that compartment gets right on top of that air defense and down it goes Haste goes down, gonna push everything up in this counterclockwise motion. A few more balloons go down, a few more balloons go down, and here comes that other lava hound any second. In it goes, right on top of that air D, just in time. Loons are right in on top of that. Gonna smash through all this, no problem. Haste goes down, gonna throw everything, kind of strays a little bit, but once it gets on top of this air defense, everything's just gonna push right up and across to that other last remaining air defense there. <clears throat> see what's going on this hound gets over there that max hound takes a mind to the face and blows up right away so that haste placement is absolutely perfect because as soon as this cannon goes down watch these balloons whoop right on over to that air defense it does not stand a chance down it goes a few more balloons on the back side with that other haste really nice adjustment there D uh, dw maybe you didn't mean for that air defense to go down but i'm pretty confident in saying that you did um no big deal for you great adjustments on the fly way to get the tree stars in the bag for this one. Clean up time. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Everything going down. That is all she wrote for this base. Nice job, do work. All right, so moving into a couple of these gemmed bases. So let's check Ride Round. Ride Round is our lowest weight 10. So he's very new, right? 34 king, 30 queen. Nothing too crazy here. Does have the extra spell, obviously, an extra troop space, so that helps. Um, but when you drop uh, Infernos like this, like you can see, this is pretty max 9. I think it is completely max 9, except for the Lego walls. Um, 
So, I mean, you know, lower level heroes, 12, 12 heroes, definitely you don't want Inferno Towers with 12, 12 heroes because Ride Rounds is going to walk all over you like this. So, nice, nice wide funnel getting created here. It's got three lab hounds in the bag with 14 balloons. So, the goal here is to get the CC troops, get both air defense, get that Inferno Tower, get that defensive queen. So, everything's going to move right on in here. Nice delay on that king. Jump spell is down. Here comes that uh, CC troop. Uh, right out of that clan castle, it's all poisonable units, so poisons are down, taking care of that, like nothing. Down go the CC troops, Queen's now going to walk inside and start taking out those air defense. Actually, I think she even walks down to that archer tower, doesn't she? No, she jumps in, good for her. Boom, just got to rage up that Queen, down goes the Inferno Tower, down goes that Tesla. Golem's in on that last air defense. Kill squad mission is complete, so as soon as that Golemite goes down, Boom, that air defense is also going to go down any second. I swear to God, there it goes. Doesn't even need the burst. Golemite takes it down as is. So here comes the air attack, right? 40% of the base is dead. It's only got one Inferno Tower left, two air defense left, no CC troops, no Queen. Um, ton of defenses are taken down already. A bunch of Teslas are already down. So this base really doesn't stand a chance. So the Max Lava Hound's in there, just like nothing. Standing over top. Uh, one burst, got to get that other one in as early as possible. Those, those max level Lava Hounds, you need to make sure they burst, guys, or you're just going to end up wasting them. Free spell goes down, taking care of that Inferno, just buying these balloons, just enough time to get in over top of this stuff. Looking good from this point. Kablam. Everything's going down. You can tell already this base does not stand a chance. The Expo is the only threat up, and there's just way too much. See that Lava Hound there? Did not burst like to see the health on it if I could, which I can't, but very nice raid ride round. Just crushed this guy. It's three stars in the bag. Nice job, my friend. All right, at number 24, my man Ice, the Ice Man. Love this guy. Um, really looking up to him for uh, my Town Hall 10 abilities because I am lacking. Um, you know, really trying to learn the ropes here, but it's it's a whole new learning curve, right? So I'm looking at these guys that have been 10 for a long time for uh, help with my plans, help with everything. Doesn't quite get the full CC lure there. Um, not really a big deal. Uh, the double poison goes out. Maybe he did get it all. Not 100% sure. He got most of it at least. So CC troops are down. Ice is bringing four healers, two Lava Hounds, 26 Balloons. He's going to charge this Queen right into this section here. Wants to get into this compartment because both those Air Defense and that Inferno Tower are all uh, targetable. <laughs> Cutting a real close on that Queen. There's that uh, last remaining barb out of the CC. So here goes this, uh, here goes the Wall Breaker. Sorry, I thought it was a little further down. It's this compartment in here. It wants to take care of that queen at the same time. That's right. So if you can get this air defense um, and the defensive queen while staying out of that inferno tower range, this queen isn't looking, sitting pretty because she's just going to continue walking up and around and take out this whole 12 o'clock section all on her own. And then he can go ahead and send in the two lava hounds on these air defense and kind of start everything moving around uh, in a clockwise direction. Second, hate, or second rage goes down, helping that queen out. She's just going to continue her way on. Got to take out that Tesla, staying right out of Inferno Tower range. So great job with that. Just whacking down all this stuff. And the air attack is about to commence. I don't know if he's going to wait, actually, until he gets over to get that air defense as well. That actually is, I believe, what he's going to do here. And just give us a times two, make sure that is indeed what is happening. So she's eventually going to get there. Um, once she takes out those army camps. So that was the plan, right? Look at all those balloons right in on top of that air defense. He really just wants to rush everything straight at that Inferno Tower. Boom, it's got to go straight up. Inferno Tower number one is Dunsies. One more drop of bomb. Down it goes. Oh, come on. Seriously? None of those balloons got a, got a bomb off? Give me a break. Down it goes, finally. Freezes down over two Teslas and that other Inferno Tower and the Sweeper. So amazing value. Haste all over the place. Things are looking good. A bazillion balloons all clumped up on that last Inferno Tower, and it's already cleanup time. So Ice Man just kills this base like nothing. Smashy, smashy. Tree stars in the bag. Sexy. All right, what else do I want to show here? Good old Slick. Slick's been uh, just a monster lately. This Queen Charge really impressed me. Um... 
it, just watch what this queen takes on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a bit of a funnel. I'm gonna times two this just so we can get into the into the meat here and potatoes of this attack. Uh, giant goes down, helping do some tanking on those three, four point defense up there, giving the queen time to work some, through some of that high hit point stuff. Uh, creating that funnel on that side didn't quite work out, but it doesn't matter because she is going right in. First rage goes down, going to get big, big value. Look at all the defenses she's already going to get. Going to step up, take out that queen, step up, just finish off the defenses of this apartment. If you look at this base, quite obvious where the double giant bombs are. Uh, so getting great value. You know, There's going to be one here, there's going to be one there. I guess there could be one there, but the queen pad means there's no defense in between, so it's got to be right there and right there. Very obvious and very easy, to, not easy to get to, but easy to charge to uh, bomb locations. So Queen just got huge value. The whole CC troop uh, comp is now dead. She's going to step up, take all that expo, and continue just to finish off this base. She's got to work through that wall next, but her job is done. So here come these Valks. In comes that cold-blooded golem. In comes that king. Nice, easy, easy funnel on that side. Great spot to enter with those Valks. Defense of king is now down. Heal goes down, help take care of those Valks. A couple hogs in on this outer Tesla while it's tanking, uh, getting tanky from those golems and uh, Valkyries. Continues to throw a couple more hogs in, just wants to continue to push everything up and into this core. Really needs this double giant bomb. Boom, there it is. There's a surprise, eh? But none of us knew the double giant bomb was there. <laughs> but first one is down, second one's down, right? These hogs are just going to do work. He's got six more to send in on this 12 o'clock location. No heal, but no big deal. He still has tanking going in from uh, from everything there. He's still got a bunch of hogs coming in that he sent in from the bottom side. They're all going to help out. Six more hogs going in. Really not many defenses to go. I would probably would have dropped them on the Tesla there, but who is nitpicking? <clears throat> Tesla's going down, Arch Tower's going down, and that is cleanup time for Slick Camel. Sexy raid, my friend. Tree in the bag. Um, all right, so got a few more TH10 triples here. Yo, yo, the man. Coming in on this, uh, maybe this guy gemmed Infernos too. Maybe I'm wrong. I know a bunch of guys, a bunch of these guys gem some stuff. No big deal, but um, uh, <laughs> it actually gave us really good practice, so it was kind of a good thing in in, in a sense. Uh, so, anyways, Yo Yo's going in with a charge from this twelve o'clock spot. Um, really going to get some serious value if he gets both those air defenses. There's some high hit point stuff there he's got to worry about. Got to get through that king. But once she steps up here, she's going to get both sweepers, two air defense, leaving this base severely crippled for, uh, I believe it's three Lava Hounds, 11 balloons. Uh, unless he brought two golems here. We're going to have to see how this plays out. I know he uh, I know he sends in from the 6 o'clock at least the one golem with his king. Maybe a few minutes. Um... But you can see the queen's doing, still doing work up there. The sweeper's giving a little bit of problem. Here comes the clan castle. Poison goes down. Going to finish all the troops off here. Look at all that poisonable stuff. Just beautiful. Taking all that stuff out like nothing. Uh, sweeper's still giving a little bit of problem. So drops that rage. Finish off the sweeper. Get through that air defense before he loses too many healers. Fantastic job so far, Yo-Yo. Uh, fat fingers the rage here. We were talking about this when I saw the attack live. Um, I originally thought... It might have been, like, sometimes you'll drop a Rage on the outside for the Wall Breakers, but it doesn't even drop the Wall Breakers in the Rage. Like, you could have just dropped one Wall Breaker in the Rage. I guess that Wizard Tower, it was the threat of that Wizard Tower splashing on them. Um, anyhow, so Wall is open. Everything's moving in. Create some King, uh, Funnel for that King. He's going to move in. Here come those three Lava Hounds and 11 Balloons I was talking about. Uh, first two are in on the 3 o'clock Air Defense. Balloons kind of spread all over the place. Great timing on that, too, because that Queen just busted through that Wall. Uh, giving uh, the queen extra tanking time just to get in there, clear out all that trash, and then step up and help with the defenses. Rage goes down. Still has four balloons in the bag. He's going to save for the 9 o'clock location. Sends in that third Lava Hound. Here goes three more balloons on that Wiz Tower just while it's targeting the Hound. So absolutely perfect job on that. Balloons moving in through the core here. Freeze is down. They're about to be right on top of this uh, Inferno Tower. That is the only major threat left on this map. Maybe that Expo too, but gets in there just in time. Bam, down goes the Inferno just in time. It took out a ton of balloons there, but they blew, they blew it up just in time. Uh, and the Expo is locked onto the Hound, so this base is clearly GG because that uh, Queen is now back at full health. King is in there doing cleanup. There's pups. There's minions. Great raid yo-yo. Very sexy.
I love too how you see these three pups up there. One, he had three pups for three buildings. They were each on a different building. Like how much more perfect of a split can you get? Tree in the bag for Yo Yo. Uh, Eleven. Oh, okay. I think I don't know. I'm just kind of. I, I think. I think. I think. I keep saying that about this because I should have. I should have made note of which guys gemmed what. Pretty sure this guy gemmed his warden, and infernos, and an eagle. I could be wrong, um, <laughs> but I just know there was a lot of gemming going on trying to prepare for this war. But no big deal. Uh, like I said, it gave us better practice. Uh, we were kind of happy with that. Um, so you're gonna see how ice kind of moves in here. Queen walks going good. Uh, gonna just walk into this area. That air defense is targetable with this walk. So down it goes. Ice has. I believe two lava hounds and 16 balloons in the bag so it really just needs to continue to walk around this side uh i think after that though she yeah there she goes continues her way on <clears throat> gonna continue taking out this section of uh defenses and give us a little times two action still not 100 how this uh eagle artillery works i know it's a certain amount of troop space once it's dropped it'll start locking on to stuff but anyhow so the walk is Going great because she's going to step up, get air defense number two. And then I believe uh, is about to send on a goal right around this uh, this six o'clock spot. Oh, and she even steps up and gets the eagle. How sexy is that? Great, great job so far on this ice. Like, look at the value of that queen walk. Got uh, two air defense, um, a huge compartment of defenses, gets the eagle artillery. Now he can go ahead and drop these golem, the golem safely. Cold blooded golems in. A few wizards going down, gonna help create that funnel so you can drop the king right around where these wall breakers are going in. King's gonna walk right in, smack down that queen, maybe even step in and get that uh, inferno tower. But 50% of the base is already destroyed, right? And he hasn't even sent in his lava hounds or loons yet. So just a beautiful job, 50% in the bag. Here comes that CC troops. Poison going to go down. Take care of that stuff. Poison on the CC troops and the queen. So that is huge. Giving that king that little bit of extra time. Smack down that defensive queen. Down she goes. Now the rage goes down for that queen. Even though she's under the inferno. So that kind of sucks. But just going to get it just in time. Boom. Rages up the queen. She steps in. Going to continue to work. So 65, 64% of this base is already done. And here comes these two lava hounds. So they're in on the air defense there. You got three air defense down, bunch of balloons all in around the rest of the remainder of uh, these defenses in the base. Like this base does not stand a chance. There is nowhere for these balloons to go but to this Inferno Tower. All the stuff's going to go down. Haste and rages, boom, throwing everything right on top of it. The Ice Man, sexy attack, my friend. Just a, just a beastly attack there. What a walk. Nice walk, close it off, got three air defense out of the deal, got the queen, got the CC. Yeah, that base does not stand a chance. Look at all those units. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> three stars in the bag. All right. So uh, one more to show you. This is not a tree star. Guns. I had to show this. I know it pains you to see this 98%. But we all thought it was an absolutely amazing attack on this absolutely maxed Town Hall 11. 40, 40, 20. Let's check out what Guns does here. So a little bit of a, a, a queen charge here. Four healers down. Notice he's got 10 witches in the bag. I believe two golems. The earthquake uh, freeze and three rages. So Queen's just going to do some work here. Start taking out all these buildings. Going to give us a bit of a fast forward. Wall, uh, as soon as everything targets that Queen, wall opens up. Going to let it in here. She's going to walk in, take out that Eagle Artillery, take out that Expo, get very good value. I mean, if you can get that Eagle Artillery down before you have to drop your Golems, you're sitting pretty because that's a freaking Golem killer now uh, these days. Uh, really, it seems overpowered against... Uh, against Golems, but it is what it is. I guess they had to make it a little better because before it was just like a overpowered cannon in my opinion um anyhow only gets the balloon yanked out of the cc so i know that was a bit of an issue would have liked to get the hound as well i think it's a hound at least <clears throat> so uh balloon going down see you later wall opens up here comes that first golem couple wizards right in behind it help start taking out some of those buildings here goes that second golem here comes a bunch of witches good spread on that still has six more witches he has to deploy 
delays them slightly just to make sure everything's going in the right direction. Warden is in there protecting absolutely everything. Earthquake goes down, it's gonna let a huge piece of this base open. All these witches are just gonna slam in there. The queen has now met up with the kill squad. So just a fantastic read on kind of taking everything out, meeting everything up at the same time. There goes that Grand Warden ability, protecting everything under that Inferno. Single target Inferno is really doing work on those golems, but look at all these witches. Single target Inferno is not gonna do anything to those witches. Wizards in there helping push everything through as well. Just great spell placement. Fantastic job so far, guns. So many skeletons just wrecking through this base. Fast forward this just a touch. Kablam, kablam. Queen's in there doing work. Grand Warren's still in there, untouched. Queen is untouched, still has her ability. I cannot believe you did not quite get the tree star. Tell me it's not the gold store, gold collectors up there that are the only buildings remaining. I think it's true though. Everything going down. Still has what, like eight witches alive in there. Queen ability is still unspent. Probably could have popped it here right now to step her up and start taking out this stuff. Pop it, hit it, hit it, hit it. All the skeletons meeting up on this wall here, chewing through it in a second. Get through there, there we go. Queen steps up, hits the ability. 16 seconds, oh, are you serious? Like these wizards, what are these wizards doing? Go, go, go. So close, nine seconds. The two gold mines at the beginning that the queen was standing right there at the beginning of the raid. You're telling me that queen didn't take those two things out? Oh, what a heartbreaker, guns. What a heartbreaker, but very, very sexy attack. Um, this is a great example of, you know, our Town Hall 11s at a newer stage of the game that are really starting to get it and really learning to break these bases down. Um, knowing where their spell placements are going to be, um, knowing the timing of their Grand Warden ability, and getting some serious success. You know, we can be three star and max, max 11s. That is just insane. So, guns, very sexy attack. Glad to have you here. Beautiful job, my friend. So, great War Invicta, uh, one by a margin, one star victory. Uh, everyone hung in there. Uh, really, just really impressed, guys. Uh, so, uh, nice to see some green stripes on the board. Nice to see these attacks coming around uh, and really starting to see some successes on these tens, right? I mean, just because the Inferno Towers are there uh, does not mean we're not going to get these three stars. As you can see, sort of uh, rushed ones down here. Uh, these are great practice for our guys. So please, <laughs> for the clans, keep doing that. It's just going to keep giving us practice, keep making us better. Um, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon here, though. This is already a very lengthy recap, but just a fantastic war. I just want to express how impressed I am with my uh, my Invicta crew there. So uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag the next tree star. Till then, I'm out.